Sugar baby, sugar baby. nice whip, nice crib. Nice I crib. want this, I want I that. Want he this. give it to me. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malijah. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified for all my uploads because honey, you know in the sugar baby lifestyle, <laughs> shit is always popping. But today I am getting orders ready, as you can see. I am in the office. I got my little brown sugar baby dolls. Don't forget, I did launch my brown sugar baby doll line. You can go cop them for $15 for your babies. And yeah, I'm just chilling around the house right now. My One of my homegirls is in town. <laughs> Skin is popping. Here is my inventory closet. I'll upload some clips. I know I always say I, I'm going to, and I, but I don't ever do it. I'll upload some clips of like everything that I have going on in here and whatnot. I finally organized my inventory closet. This is where I store all of my products. You know, I got the baby dolls up there, my wigs and stuff, my purses, packaging, more packaging, my old massage table, my blenders, clothes, scrub bottles, my detox teas and strainers. Put any box, bottles, astringent, more bottles and stuff for my masks. I keep my scrubs here. I only make so many at a time. Let me show y'all one. That's how it's looking when it sits. I only make so many at a time to keep them preserved. And yeah, this is where I keep everything. But today's a normal day in Dallas, Texas. I am recovering from my root canal. I'm gonna put some clips of that in here as well. It wasn't really as bad as some people make it seem. It was really just the drilling and it was a little bit, you know, it was sore. It's not like it didn't hurt at all. So it was a little sore or whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm still recovering as you can tell. It's still a little like tense here. You probably can't see it, but I could see it. It's like going down and not up. It's still a little tense. Um, you could tell the muscle, how it's like that, the dimple. But yes, baby, I'm just getting that together. That's what I've been focused on for um, these past couple months is perfecting myself and getting myself together as far as looks and physically how I want to, um, be and you know mentally getting my shit together financially and just focusing on self really and some people have to realize that like you have to focus on yourself you can't always depend on other people to create an avenue for you you have to want it for yourself you really have to be out here and want to be successful you can't just expect someone else's success to rain on you because it's not going to happen like that so you have to get up here and you do have to worry about yourself and it's not being selfish or um it's not considered being selfish but you do have to love self first before you can even love anybody else or be good for anybody you need to be good for yourself so just a little lecture baby but yeah i'm gonna finish getting these orders together and creating some new products i've been working on a lightning product um for scarring and you know since i was in my accident you can see it's not really bad um it's still there but it's not as bad as um it's not as bad as i thought it was gonna be so i'm still um lightening it along with you know creating my new products 
my um i haven't released them yet because i still am i'm using them myself i'm watching the progress myself as far as up here and down in my punani area so i am creating two new products a serum which is for tightening and you know getting poreless my clay mask is really good but more of a tightening serum and then i have a lightening slash brightening cream that is for scarring i mainly made it for scarring because i scar easily and i was looking for products and i was always buying products and they never work and i wanted to do something natural i didn't necessarily want to bleach or anything like that so um yes honey i'm on this road with y'all and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and finish working and i'm gonna check in with y'all later <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm headed to my doctor's appointment right now. I am in the car that my sugar daddy got for me. Well, he didn't get it for me. One of my sugar daddies owns a car lot, and so he let me use one of his cars to get around. to go get my allergy shots right now and once I leave from there I'm coming back home I got to talk to a detective and then from there I got to go straight to my root canal so today is like a really I'm running a lot of errands it's a productive day so yes honey let's get this show on the road baby <laughs> yeah so I just got done getting my allergy shots which is a necess necessity out here, especially in Texas with all the dust. And you don't want to be walking around sneezing and having allergic reactions to stuff. I definitely recommend going to get allergy tested and paying to get your allergy shots. I paid $800 for my allergy shots. That way I'm good. So yeah, we got that done. And my root canal's at 2.15. And I just dropped off my... Um, oh. I just dropped off my orders at the USPS office. I keep my receipts. It's always important to keep receipts. And then I also grabbed me some food. Yes, I already sanitized my hands, honey, don't play. But um, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat and talk to y'all while I sit here. So yes, honey, life is actually really good right now. I've just been healing and getting back on track and things like that. I feel like I'm pretty much already there i'm just waiting for my foot to fully heal i'm still walking a little funny once my foot gets completely back together i'm definitely going to be doing a whole lot more i'm still going for my bbl it got rescheduled for december 13th i was gonna reschedule it again but i decided i'm just gonna go ahead and get it done go ahead and get it done now that way i don't gotta worry about it and it's something that i really want to do for myself anyway Plus, I done, I've gained all this weight, so it would be, like, senseless to, like, it's going to take me forever to get back. I mean, I could lose the weight, but that's not what I want to do. I want a certain type of body. I haven't really... I haven't really went shopping like that because I know I'm about to be a different size. Waist, butt, hips, like my stomach all that's going to be different so that's really why i haven't gone shopping yet because i don't want to go shopping for a whole bunch of clothes and then not be able to fit them so i've honestly just been like holding it down like i don't necessarily feel like i need to impress everybody which is why i don't be going shopping like that getting louis bags Gucci bags things like that i mean i love me some gold but i've just been holding it down because i know that i'm still saving up for everything that i want to get done and I'm not trying to just splurge on stupid stuff. Well, on stuff that's gonna get in the way of me achieving my goal. So, saving up everything that I wanna get done, that way I can keep investing in my business and just really focus on that. So I'm gonna get all the, everything that I wanna do to myself. Sorry y'all, my phone fell and then I forgot I just got distracted again, but yeah, I'm getting everything perfected with myself this year. Um, and then next year, for sure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some things differently as far as my business goes. I'm gonna invest in that, like, full throttle. That's all I'm gonna be worried about. 
but this year I'm worried about myself because I'm always worried about other things. I've never really just focused on myself. And um, yeah, so I'm about to go in here and talk to this detective while I'm waiting on her to show up. And then after that, I'm gonna go get my root canal. <laughs> you know, I like to trim because this makes it cleaner for them. Okay. Hey, hey, y'all. So, <laughs> I just got done. This whole side of my face is numb, clearly. I'm so happy I went and got it done. We're not finished yet, though. I have to come back for my permanent crown. And this is what the temporary look like. The fact that this is the widest tooth they have is crazy. Like, hell no. But, yeah. So that's my temporary for now. My permanent one comes in in like four weeks. So, um, it takes them a while. And they said the pain is going to start setting in here soon. So I'm going to go ahead and go get some pain meds. And I'm just going to smoke some weed and relax. Because, honey... I look crazy and I'm not going to be able to eat. I'm probably going to get some soup or something. But I'm I'm really just tripping that my entire tooth was gone. I didn't even know. I thought a root canal was like them getting up there and getting the root. But my whole tooth was gone. I really wasn't even expecting that. So, I mean, she was able to save my tooth. So, but that's good. I don't see the difference, though, from saving the tooth to getting it pulled. I mean... It was like, I had no tooth anyway, so you might as well pull it. Like, I don't know. But, I'm not in really any pain right now. It's just a little tender, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and go home. And I think I'm, I'm going to go and take my dogs out. I'm going to take my dogs out for sure. And um, just roll up and just relax for a little bit. And guess what? I have to get another root canal. Two teeth right beside each other. I have to get that one fixed as well. I mean, that one is not this one. It's this one in the back. Right here. So, I'm honestly probably just going to get it pulled. Since you can't even tell if it's there or not. Um. So, yeah. We got to figure this out, honey. My mouth is going to be... I want my mouth to look like a million dollars. Look look at my smile. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all, I'm going to go. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. So it is the day after my root canal. I feel okay. I'm just a little drowsy because I took a little bit. I took some drugs to help me sleep last night. But I'm, feel, I'm feeling good. This is my smile now. So. <laughs> it's getting there. Like, we're we're getting there, but... I don't feel too bad, I don't feel all right. I'm at my dude's house right now, just chilling. I'm kind of tired still, so I've been eating some snacks, but I'm about to get up because I'm hungry, so I gotta go get me something to eat. I cleaned up, everything looks really nice. And that's why they love me, girl. I cook, I clean, I do it all, don't tell me. But, um. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed and get ready to go. So I'm gonna talk to y'all here later. Okay, but you see, look how beautiful that is. You gotta put oil with your waves. You can't just like 
do it. You have to put oil and it come out looking like, looking like, looking like waves, honey. The fuck? Waves on swim. But yes, yeah, so I already put oil on this side. But anyways, so today I just print the labels out. Get the products from my inventory closet lined up with the order. I get my shipping boxes lined up along with the thank you cards if they need a detox card or a skincare card. And then I also put the my bubble packaging in there. Um, or um, my bubble wrap in there to protect the product. And then tomorrow I'll be filling up the products and getting them in the boxes and sealing them up. And then Tuesday when I ship them off, I'll be putting on the fragile stickers on the outside of the boxes and things like that. But I do everything in a sequence. That way I stay focused and I have something to do. And not only that, but that way I don't mess up. That way I don't overwhelm myself with too much work or feeling like I have to do a lot and it's not a lot of pressure. So I have finally come, you know, with um, come up with a plan for everything and a blueprint for everything. That way everything runs smoothly every single time. But I guess that's also why I haven't really done too many business vlogs because I wanted to be in business for a whole successful year before giving any tips or advice or anything like that. And just, you know, figuring out things with my business on how to make my business successful before I give people tips on how to make their business successful. But I've definitely been successful as far as, you know, my businesses go and my catalog and things like that. Um, but yeah so everything is turning out really good especially for my black friday sale it went really good this past weekend it's sunday right now and i'm getting ready i want to go get some oysters possibly and drink a little bit i definitely definitely want to drink honey but yeah and I've also been mingling, you know, seeing different guys as not serious, you know, not having sex or anything like that, but just kind of just dating around a little bit. Me and the white guy I told y'all about, we're not dating anymore. I really like him, but he's it's just something missing. So I called it off with him and I feel kind of bad because he's a great guy. He's going to make a great husband for somebody. But there's just something missing. And I guess I kind of found it in someone else. But I still, you know, want, I'm still young and I still want to, you know, keep my options open and not put all my eggs in one basket. So I'm still looking out for myself at the end of the day, you know, making sure that I'm taken care of and making sure my credit is good and that I get my car in my name and, you know, just things like that. But. The way I'm not tied down because men out here will try to tie you down, especially when you're a woman of my caliber. Like, they will try, honey. An associate of mine came to town, and we've known each other for a long time, and she's cool and all, but, like, she wanted me to put her on some money, and I was. Like, you know, I was ready to go out of town or whatever, but she's not up to par. Like, she's not on my level, like, what I seen on Instagram was not what came to town. And so it's disappointing when people people catfish you basically. Act like they got shit going on and they really don't. And so right now, um, she's still, her stuff's still here, but we're kind of like the tension and you can feel the tension. Um, mainly just because I told her last night, like we were getting dressed to go somewhere and just watching her struggle, like her hair wasn't done. She didn't have a decent outfit. And so in my mind, I was kind of upset because I was like, so what were you expecting whenever we, if we were to, were to go out of town and get some money? 
like is this is this what you were gonna do there and you know she was saying well she was gonna get her done, hair done whenever we went out of town and i was like no i'm not on that no more you know like you need to be together before we go not think you're gonna be a bum go out of town i'm gonna get you some money and then you're gonna try to come up or whatever no yes i want you to come up but you need to be together at least have your shit together know what you're doing i'm not trying to be anybody's mother i'm tired of being bitches mom like i'm tired of it i'm tired of having to i, I don't mind mentoring people but when it comes to people trying to be my friend i'm tired of tired of people trying to be my friend and low-key don't got shit going on and are just trying to mooch off me or just like have or, or just really just trying to not even mooch off me but wait for me to make a move basically you know don't make any moves on their own waiting for me and then not even that it's just it's just frustrating like i'm over it like finding friends that are on my level it's just really fun it's like it's difficult sometimes can be difficult, honey. But I'm gonna finish crimping my hair and then I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my boobs and get some oysters, honey. I'm gonna check in, I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I just got done getting my food. I got me some Snapper Veracruz. It's really good and healthy honey I'm hungry I wanted me some wholesome food I think I'm gonna go in here and get me another vegetable plate or something I'm kind of hungry but right now I'm just chilling I'm probably gonna go meet up with my dude and you know just keep it pushing honey my waves came out really nice and silky you know hair always gotta be on point but yes I'm gonna check in with y'all in a minute Mwah.